Yeah, it's a, it's a small team, it's eight athletes, but a very strong team. What I mean by that is I'd be surprised if all eight didn't get to the final. So a top eight finish from the full team, that, that's what I'd be looking for. So Heather Jemison is a young young athlete, 15 years of age, um, is running the 100-200 in long jump. Deirdre Mongan is an athlete who's, who's come from wheelchair rugby and is now, is now doing the shot put and is, is doing very well, progressing very fast. John McCarthy is uh, he's a regular feature at the able-bodied athletic meetings now. He does 100 and 200, so um, he, he should finish top eight as well. And Amanda Crotty is a new new athlete, has never been to a major championship before. It's going to be difficult for her, but she may, may be able to, to finish uh, in the top eight position, and it's 1,500-meter middle-distance running. I guess really it's, I suppose, the Ireland has always had success at Paralympic Games since 19... 60. Um, so I guess really the standard of competition now is at an all-time high. So for athletes to be competing at that level is, uh, is great as Irish people, first of all. But uh, I think these guys are elite stars in their own right. They're, they're right up there in the mix. So I think aiming to be the world record holder or the gold medalist, you know, is, is a realistic target for these people. And uh, I think they're under no illusions of their work. Um, that's necessary to do that at Rio. They're very much aware of how much work went into winning gold medals in, in London. And certainly the, the barrel raising will be risen again over the next couple of years. So I think they're, they're right to talk about that. Um, so it, it's well to be cocky when you can uh, you back it up in your in your performances. And I think that's the proof of, of the pudding, really, the, the consistency of the athletes. Actually, year on, year out, you know, achieving success in the world stage. So, this is the start of a new cycle into Rio. And I think uh, an opportunity for the World Championships for the athletes to compete at the World Stage will really uh, set it off on a high bar. We only really travel away together for the Paralympic Games. Even this year, for example, it's the World Championships, IPC World Championships. We're going as an athletics team in two days' time, and athletics team only. So the focus is within the team, really. So it only comes about once every four years, really, where there's a bit of crossover. Would be right? Yeah, I guess, uh, again, the, the movement is small still at the elite level. I mean, uh, so a lot of the athletes know each other, particularly from competing at Beijing, London. And as Jane says, we only do really come together as a team to compete every four years. But, you know, in between that, there'll be multi-sport camps and so on. So the guys know each other fairly well now from being away um, over the last eight years, really, at different things together and uh, events like today. So I'm, I guess among athletes there's an interest because they become teammates and friends himself and James work together so we have a good idea what's going on in uh, both our respective sports so I suppose from that perspective there's a there's a wide body of uh, knowledge about what's what's happening between the two different uh, disciplines. Every day there's a spreadsheet of, of call rooms, equipment check-in, heat, semi-finals, who's warming up, who's training today, what staff is with each athlete so you don't have to worry about any of that when you were uh, Paralympic or an Olympic athlete you just got yourself to the track and did what you did best for a short period of time. 100% uh, effort over a short period of time. What we're doing is, is spreading ourselves over a 12, 14 hour day. So it's, uh, yeah, it's harder. Ah, it's different, you know. Uh, I suppose as an athlete, you're, you're selfish in your own preparation. You focus on very much your own performance. As a, as a manager or a coach within an organization, your focus is on the bigger picture. So you need to take in uh, not only the athletes and their events and their performances, but also the staff. Try and merge together, a, a, I suppose, a workable plan. And it's a busy time when you're at competition, uh, heat finals, uh, uh, people having downtime, having to train. So it's a very busy program over the course of uh, World Championships. So the difference, I suppose, is in terms of the workload um, and being on the go all the time. Whereas an athlete, you have your event and you're focusing on that. You have downtime. and. You know, it's, it's a different perspective here there to, to perform in an athletic sense. But um, our job, I suppose, is there to perform. Um, so if we do our job correctly ourselves, um, everybody else has a great opportunity then just to go and do what, what they need to do. So I guess from a, a time management point of view, it's a, it's a lot harder.